They shaved all of our hair off our faces and start calling us, boy. Go out there and pick that cotton, boy. Let me take your wife from you so I can lay down with your wife, boy. Let me grab your son so I can break your son in front of you, boy. It's time for you to rise, brother. Awaken out of sleep. Ain't you trying to walk around here and catch your hell, man? God of the earth walking around here like a bum. That's right. I'm supposed to have your garment, man. Walking around like a god. That's right. We, we steady getting shot down in the street, down in the right. We steady getting taxed, man. We steady getting racially discriminated against, though. They redlining us in these fixes, man. That's right. Everything they doing is against us. It's time to wake up. Read it again. Whosoever committing sin is in violation of God's law. For sin, for sin, for sin, sin, sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the breaking of God's law. Let's read it from the beginning again. Who be us the pastors? They say, whoa, destruction unto these pastors. Because, sister, we let God speak. We ain't saying a word. That's right. right. They're destroyed. That's what? They're, They're destroyed. With Christianity. Every Sabbath day to try to wake up our people, you so-called blacks, so-called Hispanics, so-called Native Americans. Hey, brother. Come right here to the front. Where you going? How's it going, man? What's your name? You good, you good, you good. Obadiah, we're good, we're good, we're good. What's your name, brother? What's that? Dylan. 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 Con, con, con. What's up? What's you, you, you believe in the Bible, brother? Somewhat. Can I ask you another question then? What's your nationality? I was just told him not to say black. I'm black, man. You black? Yo. This black right here, right? This where you come from? Crayon box? Yeah, nah. You know that, that word black, whenever we call ourselves black, you know that's a curse? That's right. That's right. You, you know the Bible got curses in it? Bring it out! Give me Deuteronomy 28, 37. Bring it out! I'm going to show you what that black means, because to the most high God, black don't mean nothing. That's, that's right. right. Read. The book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28 and verse 37. And thou shall become an astonishment. It says, and thou. Who is thou? Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Who is thou? Who is this speaking to? It's speaking to you, brother. That's right. But I'm going to show you who this is in context who this is speaking to. Teach. The book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring it out. These be the words which Moses speaketh to all Israel. So these are the words that Moses, you know who Moses is, let my people go, spoke to Israel. That's so this right. is who he talking to the thou there is Israel and you say this you I'm gonna show us you read a proverb and read from the top and thou shall become an astonishment a proverb it says and thou shall become an astonishment you see niggas riding around with 36's on a two thousand dollar car the car the rims cost more than the car that's an astonishment Bring you see 50 out. year old men walk around with their butt hanging out that's, that's an right. That's right. What, did, what did it mean in the pen if you walk around with your pants sack hey. Yeah, you get hit from the back. That's what right. did it mean in the slave days? It mean that master hit you from the back. That's right. Right. So you walking around, either the master hit you from the back, or somebody in the pen hit you from Jeez. the back. Pull your pants up, right? That's right. And a byword among all nations. So it says a byword. You know what a byword is? Anything outside of your God-given name. What they That's call right. it? Niggas, monkeys, clowns, porch monkeys. That's you know right. Jungle bunnies. Teach. Jigaboo, see? But what the most high God calls us? What did it say in Deuteronomy 1 and 1? Bring it up! Israelites, right? See the sign right here? These are the 12 tribes of Israel. That's, That's right. what this book was this book was written to. See? This book is our history book. That's, That's right. right. But it said, and thou shall become an astonishment and read that from the top. And thou shall become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations. Whither the Lord shall lead thee. So all the nations call us black, African American. I can't find that in the Bible. That's but right. I got another question, brother. How did we get here? On boats. And then when we got off them boats, what happened? Slavery. They sold us, right? They beat, beat our backs in. What's this? Teach. Wake them up. Ain't just a bunch of people piled together on the slave ship. That's Wake right. Up, up. Did you know this was in the Bible? That's right. Bring it out. Cause it's our history, but you know, give me Revelations one and three. You know they tried to hide. You know they say if you want to hide something from a nigga, do what? Put it in a book, right? Read this. The book of Revelation, chapter one and verse three. Bring it up. Blessed is he that read it. Blessed is who? Blessed is he that read it. It's time for you to start reading. Read that again. Blessed is he that read it. 
They say, blessed is he that read, finish That's it. Right. And they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein. It's time for us to hear the words of this prophecy today. That's right. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Bring it out. The slave ships in the Bible. This is how we got here. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. You know what the word Egypt means? Egypt, what did you know about Moses? He freed the children of Israel from the Egyptians, right? They were the slave masters. Who are slave masters today? Teach! Right, man, you looked at the back of a dollar bill. What's on the back of the dollar bill? Bring it, Bring it out! Pyramid, right? They in the same spirit as Egypt. Bring That's right, that's right. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5 and verse 6. I'm going to show you what the word Egypt means. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage. They say from the land of Egypt. Right there. Bring it's it on out! Top of the pyramid, all see it out. That's right. He say, I will honor the Lord that did what? Brought thee out of the house of bondage. Read that from the top. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5 and verse 6. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of Egypt. From the house of bondage. What's another word for bondage? Bring it out! Slave. That's so right. Egypt just means slave. Right. Right. Read this. I read the way it's written. And the Lord shall bring thee into slavery. Egypt. Into Egypt. Slavery. Again with ships. Read. By the way whereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. They say we ain't gonna see our homeland ever again. What they say we call? Africa, right? But Africans, if you ask Africa where you from, they gonna say Africa on it. They gonna say I'm from Sudan. I'm from Congo. You know what I mean? They know exactly where they come from. But we say we from Africa. That's a whole country. That's different countries in that country. We. And then ye shall be sold unto your enemies. My bad. Let me slow down real quick. My bad. My bad. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Our homeland. We come from Israel. That's Jerusalem. That's the motherland. You get that? You gonna read this. Hold on. Let me finish this piece up. And then ye shall be sold. So when we got out to slave who we sold to? Unto your enemy. What is the white man? Your enemy. What is the Bob? Your, your enemies. enemies. Who's that we go to work for every day? Your, your enemies. enemies. Why are we here in this homeland? Your, your enemies. enemies. They say our enemies. Did you know that the Bible God have enemies? Bring it out. So who is God's enemy? Bring it out. It just said we were gonna be sold to him, right? That's right. So what that mean? The white man is what? That's right. Give me Deuteronomy 2848. Bring it up! Deuteronomy 2815. Why did this happen to us? I know you in a hurry, but you in a hurry to get nowhere. This right here is life. We try to get you life, brother. We don't come, we come out here for free. You see a collection plate? You ever been to church? Don't they pass a collection plate around seven times, right? Yeah, no. Pay attention, brother. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. I'm gonna show you why this happened to us. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Where the voice of the Lord thy God come from? Bring it out! It's Bible, right? That's right! To observe, to do all his commandments. They say to observe and to do all his commandments. How many commandments is there? There's ten, so you can be a homosexual. Is that in the Ten Commandments? Bring it out! So that's more than ten commandments. You see that's what I'm saying? Right. Read. And the statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses. Whoa, that all these what? That all, all these curses. curses. No, that all these good things. That all, all these curses. curses. No, that all these blessings. They're all all these curse. Curse. Not my Jesus. They're They're all these curses. Curse. This is in the Bible. It says that if we don't do what God say, then all these curses is gonna come upon us. That's right. Where have you heard them talk about curses at church? Oh, Nowhere. This is in the book of Deuteronomy. This is in the beginning of the Bible. So how did they must have read past this part right? Then all these what? Then all, all these, these curses, curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. What curses? Read on. Curse shall thou be in the city. Who cursed in every city? Who in the hood? Bring Who getting shot down by the police? Bring it out! You know that's in the Bible? Bring it out! Getting shot down by the police? Bring it out! Are you okay with that? You getting that for me out? I'm going to show you out the Bible what that is. The book of Zechariah, chapter 11 and verse 5. Bring it out! Whose possessors slay them. Didn't they slay us? Look at this. Did they pay for this? Bring it out! They got away with this? Then they got to pass the, pass the land and all the things down to their Jeez. children. You think they getting away with this? Will God be will God be a just God if they got away with this? Bring it out! Read. And hold themselves not guilty. Do they wait? Read that from the top again. I must be hearing that wrong. Read that again. Whose possessors slay them? So the white man kill us in the streets. And hold themselves 
Not guilty. Trayvon Martin. Not guilty. Sandra Bland. Not, not guilty. Patty Gray. Not guilty. That's out the box. T. Make you heard that in church? So, I, when you first walked up, you were like, I don't know if I believe in that book. But everything I'm pulling out this book happened to you, right? So why don't you believe in it? Make them think! Oh, it's they, it up. they tricked us out. That's right. They boys. taught us lies here. That's but it's time right. for us to read. That's why I say, blessed is he that read it. Because they know That's them people right. in them churches ain't reading their books. Bring That's it right. We read up here, brother. Bring That's it up. Right. We build our brothers up. That's right. So it said that all these curses were going to come upon us Bring if we didn't do what God said. So what do you need to do? You need to start reading. Give me 1 Kings 8 and 46. I'm going to show you what you need to do. It's levels to this, man. The first thing is to admit, I've been lied to. And then the second thing is, search out the truth. Find your God. That's right. It say Deuteronomy 32 and 7. Read. The book of First Kings, chapter 8 and verse 47. If they shall bethink themselves, and the land where they were carried captive. How are we brought here? On ships, right? It say, if they shall bethink themselves, in the land where they were carried captive. You can see, this is the transatlantic slave trade. This is us being led captive. So South America, all over here, if we remember who we was, it say what? And repent. It's time to repent, brother. Read. And make supplication unto thee. And the land of them that were carried, them captives say. So in the land where we were carried captives, where you at right now, this is what you need to be saying. We have sinned. We have what? We, we have sinned. sinned. We have what? We, we have, have sinned. sinned. We sinned. We went against the most high God. You know what sin is? What's sin? Bring it up. What'd you say? Going against what you said. That's that's kind of correct. But I'm gonna get you the biblical definition. So from now on, you can study to see what sins you in. Bring it out. The book of First John, chapter three and verse four. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. So this is sin. It's breaking God's laws. You get that? Yeah. Read on. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the breaking of God's laws. So you're going to have to learn God's laws now, brother. That's it say that we should have to confess in the land where we carry captive our sins. Read. We have sinned and have done perversely. We have committed wickedness. And so return unto thee with all thy with all their heart and with all their soul. So we're supposed to come in sincere. In the land of their enemies, which led them away captive. So we know that we got enemies now. You know. Because they know this book. They know, they know who the real children of Israel are. That's the children right. of Israel don't know who they are. Just That's like you right. thought you was black, so do all these other people out here think they black. Right. That's they right. think they African American. That's they think right. they hood niggas. Sheesh. They think they real niggas. Sheesh. But they real dummies out here. That's right. they, they really broke out here. That's That's right. They ain't got no army. Sheesh. They ain't got no natural Bring resources. It Bring it up. Where, where, where our business is at? Make Ma McDonald's in China, right? So McDonald's can be in China, but where is the sweet Georgia Brown in China? Teach. Gotta think about it, right? Read. And pray unto thee toward their land. So when you pray, you're supposed to pray towards your land. Your land is Jerusalem. That's Bring it east. Up. So when we pray, we're supposed to pray to the east. That's the Muslims right. stole that from us. They stole Bring everything we do from us. Sign up, bro. It's called everything we do, don't everybody steal it from us? Swagger jackets. It's because we the salt of the earth, brother. That's right. It's because we Read. got chosen people. I got one more for you. Do it on the 76. I'm gonna show you who you are on the bottom. Bring it the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art a holy people. You know what holy means? It means set, set apart. Read. Unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. The most I got chose you. To be a special people. To be special. So if you got something special, you treat it better than everything else, right? So that's what the most I got said you are. You special to him. Read. That's right. Unto himself. Above all people. Oh, wait. You know what the word racist mean? It mean, it, that's that's what the white man do. But racist means to be for your people. That's what I think. To, to prefer your people, right? Read that last part again. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The Most High God said that we are above all people on the Bring face of the earth. Out. That's oh, right. They make the Most High God a racist. He's not dealing with these other nations. That's right. He's only dealing with us. That's Amos right. 3 and 3. Let me get my, this is the last precept I'm going to bring up in this season. Amos 3 and 3. I'm going to show you that God is only dealing with us. That's why we curse. That's why we on the bottom. 
You see any other nations going through the same stuff we go through? Yeah, see any other other nations going through slave ships? Yeah. Read that. Three one. The book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. What are the children of Israel? Us. That's right, brother. You can't teach them. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known. Not nah, everybody. You only have I known. Not the so called white man. You, you only have I known. Not the so called Asian man. You, you only have I known. No, nah, not my Jesus. You, you only have I known. They say, You only have I known of what? Of all the families of the earth. So that ain't my words. What they say? Say God only knew oh, the Israelites, right? Jesus. 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 Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. So you know, if you got children, you got children. If your children acting up, if your children acting up, you get on their ass, right? So God said, "You only have I known. Therefore, I will punish you for your iniquities." That's First why we're all in the bottom. That's why we're under these curses. Teach. Like you said, it's time for you to start reading, learning these laws, and turning back to your God. Not only was our enemy gonna take us over here on slave ship, brother, they can teach us everything we know, then they're gonna tell you who you are? No, bring it up. The book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 27. Read. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. God said he's in the midst of Israel, these 12 tribes, brother. Read. And that I am the Lord, your God. The Lord who? Your God. Your God, very possessed. Read. And none else. None else. White, not the white man. Read. And my people. And who? And my people. Who's the people? Read. Shall never be ashamed. Because sure. there's a bunch of people out here hollering, they can't wait till the law get back, but they ain't doing nothing that he say do. Hey, hey, hey. To what end is it for you? To what end is it for you, the wicked? To what end is it for you, the other nations? Read. The day of the Lord is dark. Is what? It's dark. It's going to be what? It's dark. dark. Read. And not light. And what? And not light. It's going to be dark around here. It's going to be death around here. This is why we ain't moving like we should be moving. Some of y'all got to get man up, man. We had spiritual war. You Negroes want to go teach the white man, man. What kind of wicked is that? But the saints of the most high shall take the king. What we gonna do? Shall take the king. What we gonna do? Shall take the king. What we gonna do? Shall take the king. We and possess the kingdom forever. Hello, 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 forever. Even forever.